I was talking to Kate earlier. Quit kind bragging. of got the sense that, well, you know. She's so amazing. She is nice. Did you have She's fun working incredible. with her? Oh, unbelievable. So much fun. My name is Clementine, by the way. I'm Joel. Hi, Joel. I love being surrounded with people that are challenging and creative and they just are strong, very strong personalities, you know, it just makes you better, you know, and, and that's kind of what she does. She's just, she brings a level of professionalism and, and, uh, and she was fun. I sort of had the more Jim Carrey role, you know, she was out there and loud and zany and all the things that we're used to seeing Jim Carrey do. Mm -hmm. And he really plays the shy, introverted guy. Really nice. Oh. God, I have to stop saying that. I'm gonna marry you. I know it. Um, okay. Did you help her out at all? Oh yeah, I helped Kate Winslet a lot with her acting. And well, she didn't need any of my help, but she was she's a pretty feisty girl, so she was she was in there full guns. Oh like writing. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no. Sure, no, just, that's okay. They just have you know, this is Oh, hey. Take care of them. Jesus. And I had no idea she was going to do it. She really hauled off and belted me, too. And, Did you get uh, a bruise later? No, I didn't get a bruise. I, I called seven of my assistants and said, Arnica, now. Clementine was particularly eccentric. Um, and rather than just going and getting ahead of highlights, she just went orange, or she just went green, or she just went red or blue, and, you know, just had fun with her hair and trying to sort of find what felt most comfortable to her. It was a lot of fun to be that person who was that spontaneous. Can I borrow a piece of your chicken? And then you just took it without waiting for an answer. <laughs> it was so intimate. Like we were already lovers. You know, we worked very well together and had a very good relationship. So, you know, it helped with obviously the you know, on-screen chemistry and so on. You erased me. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm doing this in the first place. I'm sorry. You. you. You know me, I'm impulsive. You know, I mean, I've seen things about people losing their memory before. The idea that, you know, Valentine's Day is the busiest time of year for Lacuna that uh, wipe out memories of your uh, relationships is just amazing. My name is Joel Barish, and I'm here to erase Clementine Krishinsky. By the time you wake up in the morning, all the memories from targeted with withered and disappeared. Everybody has one that they could go, oh. And just zap it, mm -hmm. zap it, never happened. I wouldn't ever do it, I don't think. I mean, you know, we've all had good times and bad times, but I think those experiences sort of form who we are as people. It makes you strong, makes you beautiful, ultimately, uh -huh. if you get past painful memories. And whenever you kind of move your focus from what you've lost to what you have, you remember the good stuff. I'm just... I've never felt that before. Uh. I'm just exactly where I want to be. And the great thing is, once they've had this procedure done, they meet again, and they, they don't know who the other person is, and they get talking, and you kind of feel, oh my god, they, they are meant to be together. It, it is really going to happen. As these memories are being erased, they go from most present to most past, so the movie kind of happens almost in reverse order. And the further back in time you go, the more in love you realize that they actually were, and probably underneath it all still are. It would be different if we could just give it another go round. Remember me. Try your best. Maybe we can. You can believe in destiny. It's actually a very simple love story about two people who are just meant to be together. It just takes them a long time and a horrible old memory erasing procedure to kind of realize it. I can't see anything that I don't like about you. But you right will. Now I can't. But you will. You know, you will think of things. And I'll get bored with you and feel trapped because that's what happens with me. Okay. Okay. It does kind of say one of two things. Maybe this is the relationship of their lives and they'll be together forever. And maybe they're just changed and better people through having gone through this. And, you know, it just kind of leaves it hanging. But it certainly isn't, you know, a good ending or a bad ending. ending. It's just a, a sort of passionate and kind of moving one, um, which is, you know, the great thing about love stories, I guess.